about to graduate, now what? I was in the exact confused and clueless position when I graduated. I'm glad that this video finds you well, because today I'm going to show you the top 5 industries a biomedical engineering grad can start a career in, and numerous keywords to search for when it comes to finding your first or next position that most schools don't prepare you for. Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I'm a former BME grad and now I'm working at a clinical product manufacturing lab at a medical center. I have a series of BME videos here to help you get ready for your grad school and career. And in this channel, I not only share my academics and career, but also my life here in the US. In today's video, I will cover a very detailed list of subdivisions under the BME umbrella, what industries can a BME grad start a career in, and last but not least, what are the golden keywords to search for in order to land your first or next job. Now let's dive right in. So the first part I want to cover today is what are the most common emphasis or subdivisions under the BME umbrella? I have found at least 10 of them and now let me share them with you one by one and with a brief summary of what each one of them is about. I'm gonna start with biomaterials and tissue engineering here because these two were the focus of my graduate research. So my graduate research focused on using a biomaterial blend to fabricate a type of artificial vascular tissue for surgical implants. Please watch my day in the life video here if you are interested in the process of my daily wet lab and the instruments I use to do my research. So the biomaterials emphasis involves the study and development of materials used in medical devices, implants, and tissue engineering. Biomaterials may be natural or synthetic, and in my case, we use synthetic materials to fabricate the uh, vascular tissue, and are used in medical applications to support, enhance, and replace damaged tissues or a biological function. The biomaterials have to be biocompatible, durable, and capable of supporting tissue growth and regeneration. So during my grad school, I spent most of my time making my prototypes and analyzing their mechanical profiles. So the tissue engineering emphasis actually evolved from the field of biomaterials development and refers to the practice of combining scaffolds, cells, biologically active molecules into functional tissues with the goal of creating functional replacements for damaged or diseased tissues. The next one is biomechanics. This emphasis deals with the study of mechanics of biological systems and how they respond to external forces. Applications of biomechanics include things like prosthetic design, sports performance, and injury prevention. The next one I want to talk about is rehabilitation engineering. And this emphasis focuses on the development of assistive technologies and therapies to help people with disabilities or injuries to regain their independence and mobility. Speaking of these two emphasis, I recently watched a very interesting documentary series called Human the World Within on Netflix, where the first episode react talked about how biomedical engineers are using engineering and technologies to restore functions inside the body. And they develop a prosthetic arm that can receive signals generated by the nervous system to help people regain their sense of touch. Definitely check this out to see how biomedical engineers work together to help people regain their normal lives. The next one I want to talk about is drug delivery. The drug delivery systems describe technologies that carry drugs into or throughout the body. These technologies include the method of delivery, such as a pill that you swallow or a vaccine that is injected. Drug delivery systems can also describe the way that drugs are packaged, such as a nanoparticle that protects the drug from degradation and allows it to travel wherever it needs to go in the body. And the next one is biomedical imaging. This emphasis deals with the development and use of imaging technologies such as MRI, CT, or PET scan for medical diagnosis and research. The instruments I used the most back in grad school are SEM, or a scanning electron microscopy, and fluorescent microscopy. 
The next one, bioinstrumentation, which has many similarities uh, as biomedical imaging. So this emphasis focuses on the design, development, and use of various instruments and devices for biomedical applications such as medical imaging, monitoring, and diagnosis. And the next one I want to talk about is cellular and molecular engineering. This emphasis focuses on the study of cells and their interactions with the environment, including the development of techniques for tissue engineering and drug delivery. The next one, clinical engineering. This emphasis involves the application of engineering principles to healthcare technology management, including the design, selection, and maintenance of medical equipment and systems. The last one I want to mention here today is bioinformatics. So this emphasis involves the use of computer science and mathematical models to study biological systems and develop new treatments and therapies. So there you go, 10 subdivisions under the realm of BME. And since BME is such a highly interdisciplinary field that combines engineering principles with biology and medicine, and this opens up a whole new world of different industries one can step foot in. Which leads to my next topic of today's video, and I will share with you the top 5 golden industries BME grads can work in. And I'm gonna start with the healthcare industry because I am currently working in one. I am working in a GMP or Good Manufacturing Practice lab, so basically a manufacturing lab. So our lab manufactures an FDA-approved clinical product for transplantations. I will do another day in my live video in the near future. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. So if you are enthusiastic about working in the healthcare space, biomedical engineers can work in hospitals, clinics, and other healthcare settings to do a variety of jobs, such as like designing, testing, validating, and maintaining medical equipments and systems. Or if you are passionate about medical device research and development, biomedical engineers can work in the medical device manufacturing space to develop and produce medical devices such as artificial organs, imaging systems, prosthetics, and surgical instruments. Or if you are someone who embraces science and innovative technology, biomedical engineers can also work in the research and development of new drugs, medical treatments, and therapies, which are generally categorized as pharmaceutical and biotechnology. In my last video, I mentioned a list of biotech concentrated areas, and I am currently living in one of the largest biotech hubs in the US, North Carolina, and I will do a deeper dive into biotech companies in the near future. Please make sure to stay tuned for that. If you are into a more stable type of position, these following two may be for you, which are government and academia. Biomedical engineers can work for the government agencies such as the FDA, NIH, or EPA to ensure examples like medical devices and treatments meet safety and efficacy standards. And in academic and research institutions, biomedical engineers can work in universities, research institutions, and labs to conduct research on new technologies and medical treatments. Or if you are passionate about combining business and biomedical engineering, there is something for you too. Biomedical engineers can work for consulting firms that provide specialized services such as regulatory compliance, quality assurance, or technical support to medical device and pharmaceutical companies. So the above are the top five industries a BME grad can step foot in. Feel free to leave a comment on which one you like to start your career in or some other industries I didn't include here. And the next tip I want to talk about today, which at least my school has failed to educate me, is how to find my place in these industries. One thing I realized after applying for a job for so many months was that many positions are actually not titled as biomedical engineer, but a BME grad is fully capable of doing the job. Just because BME is such a interdisciplinary field and this opens up diverse job opportunities in many different industries and roles for graduates. 
If you want to start a career in the healthcare industry, there are keywords such as biomedical equipment technician, clinical engineer, or biomedical imaging technologist to start from. Or if you want to work in the medical space, there are also keywords such as medical device design engineer, validation engineer, process engineer, or supplier quality engineer. Or if you want to work in the pharmaceutical and biotech space, there are keywords such as bioprocess engineer, drug delivery engineer, or formulation scientist for you to start with. In academia and research, there are keywords such as research associate or assistant or scientist and biomedical scientist and postdoc research fellow. Of course, this one you will need a relevant degree to apply for that. Lastly, consulting firms, you can start with keywords such as regulatory affairs consultant, quality assurance consultant, or strategy consultant. I won't include a full job description here for each position, but you can search on Indeed or Glassdoor on your own time to look out what are the requirements for a specific position and start putting together your relevant skills or start building them if you don't quite have them yet. I will also include a screenshot of more keywords to search for uh, for each industries here for your future reference. I've included a loaded amount of information here today. So just a high level recap here. I first talked about a very detailed list of subdivisions under the BME umbrella. And I hope this serves as a starting point for you to dig deeper into one that aligns most with your interest. I then move on to talk about the top five industries with a high level summary on what they are that a BME grad can start a career. And last, definitely not least, I covered the golden keywords to search for for each of these industries that most schools generally don't prepare graduates for. Next time, I plan to talk about how to narrow down from these broad industries to an individual or your dream company to speed up your job searching process. Thank you for watching. If this helps you in any way, please like and subscribe so that it helps more people like yourselves. And I will see you in the next one.